Ever wondered why some parents, particularly narcissistic ones, favor one child more than the others? This is a question that plagues many families, leaving a trail of heartache and strained relationships. Narcissistic parents often engage in a pattern where they choose a golden child to favor, often neglecting or even devaluing other children in the process. This dynamic, as you might guess, can be incredibly painful and damaging for all siblings involved. It's a complex play of power, control, and a distorted reflection of the narcissist's ideal self. The golden child becomes a pawn in their game, often unknowingly enabling the narcissist's manipulations. The impact of this dynamic is far-reaching, affecting not only the family unit, but also the individual lives and self-esteem of each child. As we explore this topic further, we'll aim to understand the potential reasons behind this troubling dynamic. Let's dive into the potential reasons behind this troubling dynamic. One of the main reasons narcissistic parents favor one child is to exercise control and manipulation. This craving for control is a key trait of narcissists. They use the family as their stage and the golden child as their star performer. By showering this child with praise and attention, they set the scene for a subtle yet destructive game of favoritism. This can pit siblings against each other, causing confusion, resentment, and damaging the sibling bond. The golden child becomes a tool for the narcissist to manipulate family dynamics. The other children, feeling neglected or devalued, may strive to compete for the parent's approval, further fueling the narcissist's sense of power and control. It's a twisted game where the narcissist holds all the cards and the children are left scrambling for a sense of worth that should have been their birthright. The golden child becomes a pawn in the narcissist's power game. The golden child often serves as a mirror to the narcissist's ideal self and an enabler of their behavior. This statement rings true when we delve into the narcissistic parent's need to see their inflated self-image reflected back at them. The narcissist, often basking in an inflated sense of self-worth, looks for this same brilliance to be mirrored in their chosen golden child. This child, in their eyes, embodies the traits and achievements they deem desirable, effectively becoming a representation of their perceived excellence. The golden child, in many ways, is the narcissist's dream self, the embodiment of their own lofty aspirations. They intend to mold this child into a version of themselves they deem perfect. But this isn't about nurturing the child's individual strengths or passions. This is about the narcissist's need to see their ideal self come to life. But the role of the golden child isn't confined to reflecting the narcissist's ideal self. There's another side to this coin. The golden child often becomes the narcissist's flying monkey an unwitting accomplice in their manipulative games. The narcissist may subtly groom the golden child to defend their actions, thereby enforcing their control over other siblings. This dynamic further isolates the scapegoated children, deepening the divide within the family. So, what we see here is a dual role. The golden child becomes a mirror, reflecting the narcissist's inflated self-image, and a tool, helping to enforce their control and manipulation. This child is both the embodiment of the narcissist's ideal self and an enabler of their behavior, a role that carries immense pressure and can lead to significant emotional turmoil. Yet, it's crucial to remember that this role is thrust upon the child, not chosen by them. The golden child is not the villain in this narrative, but another victim of the narcissist's manipulation. The golden child, therefore, not only mirrors the narcissist, but also becomes their accomplice. Unconscious parenting patterns and lack of empathy also play a significant role in this dynamic. Taking a step deeper into the psyche of a narcissist, we find that their own childhood experiences may be mirrored in the way they parent. If the narcissist was once the golden child in their family, they might unconsciously project this role onto one of their own children, repeating the cycle of favoritism and neglect. This unconscious pattern is a form of intergenerational trauma, passing down harmful dynamics from one generation to the next. However, it's not just about perpetuating the cycle. It's also about maintaining the illusion of control and superiority. By designating a golden child, the narcissistic parent can continue to feel powerful and important, 
even if it's at the expense of their children's emotional well-being. But there's another element at play here, a lack of empathy. Narcissists struggle to understand and consider the emotional needs of others. Instead, they are primarily focused on their own desires for control and validation. This lack of empathy means they may not recognize the harm they inflict on their children by creating such a divisive dynamic. Let's take a moment to reflect on what this means. If a parent cannot empathize with their child, they can't fully understand or respond to their child's feelings. This emotional disconnect can lead to a lack of emotional nurturing, leaving the child feeling unseen, unheard, and unimportant. For the golden child, this lack of genuine empathy can create a constant pressure to fulfill the narcissist's expectations, leading to anxieties and insecurities. So we see that unconscious parenting patterns and lack of empathy both contribute to the creation of the golden child dynamic. It's a complex interplay of past experiences and emotional deficiencies, all wrapped up in a narcissist's need for control and validation. However, it's crucial to remember that the designation of a golden child is not a reflection of the child's worth. The child is simply caught in a destructive cycle perpetuated by the narcissist's unconscious patterns and lack of empathy. Our parents' past and their inability to empathize can heavily influence the family dynamics. If you find yourself in this situation, there are ways to cope and seek help. First and foremost, prioritize your own well-being. This means setting healthy boundaries and maintaining emotional distance from the narcissistic parent. It's about putting your needs first, which is not selfish but necessary for your emotional and mental health. Next, don't be afraid to seek support. A therapist or counselor can provide you with the tools to process the emotional impact of this experience and develop coping mechanisms. They can also help you understand that it's not your fault and that your feelings are valid. Building supportive relationships is crucial. Surround yourself with individuals who offer validation and understanding. They can provide a safe space where you can express your feelings without judgment. And finally, remember that you are not alone. Many people have overcome similar experiences and there are resources available to help you heal. While this situation is challenging, you have the power to break free and create a healthier, happier life for yourself.